This is a demonstration of a PDO thread lift. PDO stands for polydioxinone. It's a type of polyester material that's been used in surgery for at least 40 years. It's uh, biodegradable, so it does dissolve. It takes about two months to dissolve. So once the threads are placed, they do dissolve within a couple of months, but the lift actually lasts for two years or more because they stimulate the formation of collagen also called neocollagenesis, the new formation of collagen uh, by stimulating cell types called fibroblasts. And so if they're placed, say, here to lift a sagging jowl or to lift um, the uh, turkey neck, uh, the threads will dissolve within a couple of months, um, but the lift will last at least two years by stimulating new collagen formation. This is the tray setup. We use very sharp and sterilized iris scissors, 2% lidocaine with epinephrine in 3 cc syringes, and those are 30 gauge needles. Those are the threads in the middle with the long cannula. They're V-soft line, and I believe these are 90 millimeters long. Uh, you need a couple of sterile 2x2s. I use a 1 inch 18 gauge needle to make the incision point. There's no scalpel required, no stitches of course. Also, I like to use these Next Care Band-Aids uh, that are waterproof and clear. It's good to have the removal tool. This one is made by Comfort Tex uh, in case you do need to remove um, a thread. So here the incision point is made just above the angle of the mandible with an 18 gauge needle and then using sterile technique the introducer is placed through the skin and tracked in the subdermis. If you get too close to the superficial part of the epidermis you're going to be able to see the thread it's going to move unnaturally so you want it deep enough so that it's very discreet and it's more com comfortable for the patient. Uh, long term. Now sometimes there's discomfort for about two days uh, and up to two weeks they may have a, uh, some sensations in there but eventually the natural healing response will take place it'll set things in place and as it gradually dissolves they won't feel anything. So you can track this under the skin and then you take the cannula back out leaving the thread behind and you can feel the barbs as they engage on the subdermis there. They engage on the dermis and, and produce an immediate retraction. This is on the right side. We're pulling back on the uh, jowl, a little bit of a dropped lower cheek there, just above the mandible. And as you feel it, you can feel this ratcheting up as those tiny barbs engaged that are etched into the thread. The thread is then clipped with iris scissors at the level of the skin and it will retract under the dermis as well so nothing is going to be sticking out after you're done. We do the same thing on the left side and I add a little bit of uh, lidocaine as I go. No worse than having fillers done and maybe even a little milder. There seems to be less bruising. You don't have to worry about injecting into an artery uh, causing an embolism in this case. And again, you can feel that ratchet up as you tighten the thread and it provides some immediate lift, but there'll continue to be uh, more lift over the next few weeks as it starts to heal and form new collagen. And I like to pull up on these just to get the maximum lift at the time of the procedure, but they'll continue to ratchet up a little bit over the next couple of days. I didn't notice that on the other side. 
Yeah. yeah. I think I, I felt number on the other side, so maybe that's why. Cut the thread flush with the skin. Pull a couple more times, which will tuck that thread in place. It's not sewn in place at all. The barbs will just simply hold it there. And here you've got a nice result. We just put one of these little clear Next Care waterproof bandages on there. Have them leave it there at least overnight or to replace it if it gets dirty. Mm -hmm.